Here we go. Our seventh objective on our test has is calculating enthalpy changes using the standard heats of formation. The test taking tool page we will need is our appendix C from the back of our chemistry book, which lists alphabetically the standard heats of formation for various elements and compounds. The equation that we use the delta H of our reaction, and I'll write out the entire word reaction, can be found by taking the delta H from the standard heats of formation chart of our products minus reactants. Products minus reactants. We simply take a look at each one of the reactants and products and tabulate the delta H of formation for each being very sure we're looking carefully at the adjective, the state of matter, so we're grabbing the correct number from our chart. Let's take a moment and just mo and, uh, look up each one of these ingredients and I'll write it underneath. For instance, the first one listed here is ammonia, NH3 in the gaseous form. Using my chart, I kind of look through for the ends Here's ammonia. Notice that it has two listed. We've got to be sure we're not taking the aqueous, but we've grabbed the gaseous form, negative 46.19. Right now, I'm just simply writing underneath oxygen as a gas, pure element in its natural state, has a value of zero. Nitrogen monoxide in its gaseous form, again, I'll go into the ends, find NO in a gaseous form, positive 90.37. Water in its liquid form is actually found under the oxygens. Oxygen will have water listed in a liquid form, negative 285.83. So all I've done so far is looked up the values using our tabulated heats of formation chart. We'd like to use those values to simply solve for products minus reactants. When I look up the values of each, that is on a per mole basis. So when I begin tabulating, I have to check out the, co the coefficient and distribute that through the number. Four times the value of 90.37 gives us the value for NO. I'm going to add that to six times the value of liquid water. And here is the sum of our products. We want to subtract that from the sum of our reactants. The reactant, ammonia, NH3, has a coefficient of 4, so I'll distribute a 4. Negative 46.19 gives us the value for ammonia, and we can show that we're adding 0, the value for oxygen. We need to simplify. Just using the, a little moment with our algebra, let me hit and see if we get a common answer. 4 times 90.37 plus 6 times negative 285.83. Simplifying the product side, 1353.5 in an exothermic value minus four times a negative 46.19. And I'm finding an answer, negative 1168.74 kilojoules of heat. Let me turn off the recording, see if you got the same thing. The next equation has us using the same formula. Three units of NO2 gas, I've already looked up the value using my appendix C, the thermodynamic value of 33.84. Liquid water I've recorded as negative 285.83. The aqueous nitric acid, HNO3, not found in the H's, I found that in the nitrogen family listed alphabetically by the N, negative 206.6. And then one more time from the previous problem, we're using the NO 90.37. So I've just simply recorded the chart so far for the reactants and products. To solve for the delta H of this target equation, we'll sum the products minus reactants. 
distributing through any coefficient that might be there. The coefficient in front of our nitric acid is a 2, so we'll take 2 times its value of negative 206.6, and we'll add that to a positive value, 90.37, the value for the NO. We'll subtract out the value of our reactants. I notice a coefficient of 3 in front of the NO, NO2, so we'll distribute that value 3 times a positive 33.84 and add that to a negative 285.83. The sum of the products minus reactants. Let's hit this on our calculator. I wouldn't mind a calculator, buddy. Make sure we get a common answer before I upload the video. 2 times negative 206.6 plus 90.37. Products are simplifying to be negative 322.83. Thank you. I'll do the same. I'm going to simplify the brackets on the reactants. 3 times 33.84 plus a negative 285.83. The reactants simplify negative 184.31. I'll take products minus reactants, negative 322.83 minus a negative 184.31. And I have negative 138.52 kilojoules. Thank you. Let me get that on the screen. Negative 138.52. The second question on our objective is a little different in the sense it's going to give us the delta H, and we're being asked to find one of the reactants or product's value. Given the following thermodynamic chemical equation, calculate the heat of formation for the reactant, SO2Cl2. What it's asking us is to make this our target variable. We cannot find SO2Cl2 in the standard chart. But what we do know is what the sum of products minus reactants will give us, a negative 62 kilojoules. We will be able to look up the water, the sulfuric acid, and the HCl gas, but we would not be able to find SO2Cl2. This becomes our target variable. Let's take a moment and just start looking up these values. Liquid water, again found under the oxygen family in our standard chart. I'm finding that to be negative 285.83. Sulfuric acid, you will find in the sulfur, so look through until you find the S's for sulfur. H2SO4, as a liquid, notice it's also aqueous, but as a liquid, it's negative 814, and that's a point zero. HCl, again, we're going to find HCl in the CLs, the chlorine family, which is the front of the page. HCl is, here it is. Notice HCl is aqueous or gaseous. This adjective is a gas in our problem. That has a value of negative 92.30. So here's what we know as we set up this problem. We know the entire equation is negative 62 kilojoules. The delta H for our reaction has been provided right in the equation. That will be found by taking the sum of the products minus reactant, where the reactant has our target variable. The first product is H2SO4 liquid, negative 814.0 plus the next product is two units of HCl, so let's be sure to distribute a two when we take the negative 92.30. Here is the sum of our products minus the sum of our reactants. The reactant, the first one, is the target, X, plus, notice the coefficient in front of the water, which is a two, two units of negative 285.83. Here is the sum of our reactants. 
the entire equation is negative 62 kilojoules. That's set equal to the sum of the products minus reactants. Well, right here is our target variable, the heat of formation for the SO2Cl2. I'll start by simplifying what I can inside of the brackets. I'll start with the product side. Negative 814 plus 2 times negative 92.3. I'm finding negative 998.6 to be the value of the product so far. 2 times negative 285.83 simplifies the reactants to be X plus a negative 571.66. Simplifying, negative 62 equals negative 998.6 minus X minus 571.66. Just distributing that through. Here's what we have so far. If I could add 998.6 to both sides, then I can simplify and bring that side over. Bless you. So at this point, 998.6 is now gone from the product side brought over. So positive 998.6 minus 62 gives me a value of positive 936.6. That's minus x plus 571.66. If I just distribute the negative sign through that, negative x plus 571.66. Equals, I forgot my equals right there. there that looks better. We're trying to get x by itself, so let's subtract now from both sides. 571.66 and see what we have now for the value of negative x. On my calculator I have positive 936.6 minus 571.66. 364.94 is the value of negative x. So I'll just simply flip the sign, 364.94 equals x. And there's the kilojoules, the value given to SO2, Cl2. Now I did the algebra step by step. You wouldn't need to show all that if you could do that on your calculator. Negative 364.94, the value of our target variable, the reactant SO2, Cl2.